Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. At your service to describe a phased vertical antenna system, just one example of how you can phase vertical antennas and get a little bit of directionality and gain. First of all, these green surrounded black dots are your verticals seen from a great height above so that they look just like points. Well, they look like big dots with green around them, but really from a height they just look like little antennas <laughs> seen from the end. They're spaced an electrical half wavelength apart, and that's important. A free space half wavelength apart. What you do then is you take two lengths of 50 ohm coaxial cable and they have to be three quarters of a wavelength long because if they were only one quarter of a wavelength long they wouldn't be long enough to reach the center. The reason for that is that these lengths are electrical wavelengths and you have to multiply by the velocity factor of this coax which can range anywhere from 0.66 to 0.75 or so depending on whether you have solid or foamed dielectric coax. So you have to kinda leave a little slack here. Three quarters of a wavelength section will behave just exactly the same as a quarter wavelength matching section. So you'll get an impedance here of roughly 75 ohms. 37 is to 50 as 50 is to whatever you get here. And where does this 37 come from? Well I'm assuming that you have a fabulous radial system and your antenna is ground mounted so that the feed point impedance at the uh, base of these quarter wavelength vertical antennas is roughly 37 ohms. You're going to need to step that up, 75 ohms. You're going to end up with a little less than a perfect match here, about 1.5 to 1 SWR. But for all intents and purposes, no matter how long your coaxial line to your radio might happen to be, a 1.5 standing wave ratio is every bit as good as a perfect match and most transmitters will accept that. So you just have to accept that. If that bothers you, you can put a matching, you know, a transmatch here, but I think that's a whole lot more trouble than it's worth as long as it works just as well. The important thing is to space these things a, a free space half wavelength apart. These are equally long, these uh, feed lines here, so these are going to be in phase with each other. As a result of that, you're going to get maxima in your radiation pattern going that way and going that way, perpendicular to the line connecting to the antennas. So if these antennas are oriented east-west, your gain will occur in a north and a south direction. It, going east and west, what you're going to get is phase cancellation because the wave from this antenna will travel through space, hit this antenna, they're going to end up exactly out of phase or in phase opposition with each other to the east and the west. So you will get then a north-south uh, pattern and you'll get something on the order if you design this ideally of 3 dBd of gain. dBd meaning gain over a dipole or gain over what you would have with one antenna alone. So that's a very simple way. All you need to do is connect these to a T connector, a coaxial T connector. No special matching network or anything like that. <coughs> no special matching networks here or anywhere. Uh, all you need to do is, again, make sure these three-quarter wavelength sections are cut to an electrical 
three quarter wavelength which is anywhere from 66 to about 75 percent as long as it would be if it were a free space three quarter wavelength you you know the math you do the calculations you know how to calculate a quarter wavelength at whatever frequency you want but for free space now remember there's no velocity factor involved if you put these in electrical uh, well actually an electrical half wavelength here is the same as a free space half wavelength so that's just sort of in an I'm not going to say in a nutshell. No, I will not because I don't want Bill O'Reilly coming and raging at my door, having foaming at the mouth and all that. <laughs> you know, the, the guy who hates trite cliches, isn't that itself sort of a trite cliche? I mean, aren't there any, are there any cliches that aren't trite? If there are, tell me. But I'm not going to leave comments open here. You're going to have to email me and tell me if there are any cliches that aren't trite. But what I hope what you got out of this was an idea to design a phased vertical antenna system. There are other ways to do this, but this is probably the simplest way that I can think of. The only thing is, it's going to cost you a lot of time and money and wear and tear in order to put in a good radial system for this business. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV saying 73 for now which means best regards in ham radio jargon and so long